all right guys welcome back to the channel once again and today i'm going to show you how we can create our custom blocks this is a kind of thing is given over here into this editor documentation like first plugin in the last video we configure it like this we can save the data and we can render the data into this editor and also you can see we have one text component over here but if we have to some more component like this text component so we can add it over here so that i'm going to show you today so let's start and you can see this uh, documentation gives you a step-by-step -step process that how you can create your custom blog. So I'm just going to read this documentation step-by-step -step and I'm just going to configure that thing. I won't do any apart from this. So everything will be done by this documentation. There are six and seven headings that you need to follow and you will be able to create your custom block. Okay, so first it says create three files like simple image.js, simple uh, image.css and example.html and I need to create a class into that. So this is our code, uh, code of the editor and last time we walked up to this. So let's create a simple and let's create a class into the simple class. Let's see now what it says to us. Okay, so now it says uh, put this function over there, render function. Okay, I'm just doing it fast for showing you guys, but you can read the documentation properly because I have already read it and I just doing the copy paste of the function and I'll tell you what this function is and also copy this save block content. So whatever you will uh, drag it from there. So this when you click on the save it will be automatically pass the component from here and we can define this url for image because we are going to make an image type of uh, block so we just going to and so block content dot value is over here it says one more thing add one more function get toolbox okay so just copy this one as well because you will get the toolbox kind of scenario over there so whatever the svg you will see just beside this so that svg will come from so let's see into our editor it is rendering over there or not okay so you can see the image block is also started coming over here and we are rendering input box only that image okay so let me guide you about here so whatever we will do inside the render that gonna come after the clicking on this svg path so this svg path will show into the block what type of interface you are showing to the user and this is after clicking on that this thing this thing will you you will show there so i'm just showing input box and you can see the input box is getting rendered over there so now what we're gonna do next testing the save method if you click on the save method so it shows what it throws to you so let me just copy this url from here okay now let's see what we are getting over there just go over here so type anything into, into this one okay and try to save it check into the console what we are getting so time we are getting some arrays let's see what we are getting. so you can see we are type we are get also getting that image type array over here and to that you can see we are getting the url field so that url is this one this text what we have written right now so this is your one more component right now and now we're gonna enhance this component like we whatever the url you will type so it's gonna be rendered over here like image or something and that thing we can do so let's go and let's do it so how to show previously saved data to our tool so let's go into the next fill block and with save data so fill block with save data in the previous guide we have learned how to create the basics so something like that if you have already image type of data and you want to show that inside your uh, block so you can show it over here so let's go do this so just copy this object including after this now we're gonna be using the constructor and i hope you guys know about the constructor if we are using the class and if you don't know about so you can read into the ambient docs or javascript.info what is the use of construct improving a render okay so improving a render we are going to improve the render so let's copy this whole code paste inside the render so now what it is doing it's creating a wrapper component and also input box is there and now adding the wrapper to the css like class simple image and inside that wrapper it's appending the input box and also adding the placeholder and also adding the data whatever the data you are passing into that and let's go to save block okay 
now copy this whole code control c and just copy and paste it over here and let's see the response what we are getting so you can see whatever we added earlier so it's coming as it is over here into this input box okay and whatever we do to edit right now and if we click on the save and you can see into the data it is coming okay so like this we can add our custom block over here and if i try to click on the plus we can add one more image url over here so one thing we can show just input the image like this or we can show the image or rest of the thing we will see over here into this tutorial next what it says just see so just copy this css and paste it over here okay you will see this kind of scenario so you can see this one is already added and if i click on it and add one more so you can see one more input box is getting created and just after this input box you can add one more image url over here you can save it so after the data will reload so this also one more input box will come over here so next heading is this one save data validation the tutorial is for validation like it will check the data is filled or not filled so just copy this to th these two functions so it will validate the data right now and just pass it inside over here and make it identity documentation whatever the data you will save over here that will first it will get validated from here so the validate function gonna be called and it will check the data is there or not into that in input box so otherwise it won't pass any data from here okay so let's uh, let's check this out we'll test it so if i add if I add one more image field and if I try to save it, so you can see only four arrays I am getting over here, but it should be five because I have already added one more field. And if I add something inside this, number of element into this array is increased. Okay, so now fifth element is coming over here, and you can see this value. So that kind of validation check is there. So now let's move to the further topic and change a view. So in this topic, we're gonna change the view and accessing main element. In it's time to make our tool more visual appealing. When user paste an image URL to the input, it will update blocks view and show the image. Okay, so it will directly show you that image, whatever the image you have pasted in type that. All right, so just copy this element and paste it inside your over here so i have already basically just replaced this render function okay so now let's change view by paste okay so it will create one image tag for you so right now there's nothing is written over here but we're gonna write it soon so let's see into the next tab so it says you need to do this code and paste it over here what it says first it's gonna create an image element and input element for the caption whatever the caption you want to write for the image and now it's gonna include both the things over here and inside the wrapper it will just pass the inner html first it is empty and now it will append the image first and then caption first and when you save it it's gonna be automatically displayed over there if we reload the page and let's check this out so this image should be displayed let me copy this Control a Control c and if I'm creating an image tab control V, so you can see after pasting an image, it came like this. Okay, and now if I will write any caption over here, okay, and I save it, so you can see I'm just getting the data of that caption as well. So you can see into the fifth element, URL, and uh, I don't know, no, not this one. I think data should be there. Data oh oh we have done the representation only we didn't do that uh, saving thing so we need to also save those things so in the next step you can see the save function is there so the control c and into the image just go save block of the image paste control c and c okay so now let's copy this image control a control c and create one more image tag control v and after that write the caption click on the save button and let's see what we are getting saving failed due to error cannot read reading srce dot value null element let me check why i'm showing now okay so you can see one image is already coming over here if i write any caption over here and if i save it so you can see i'm getting the four array of data 
four object of data in the this array and also i am getting data url and caption so both the things are coming over here into this data so we can properly save this image and whatever the data already is there into the data object that is also rendering over here so you can see the UMAR image url is rendering in the next video we will see like it says how to add inline elements like in time inline toolbar if we click on that caption and if we need to change into the some uh, style of the text and all the things and if you make to if you want to make the uh, element into the link format so how we can do that so we will do it into the next video and thank you so much guys thank you for watching and i'll meet you in the next video